it's me naomi welcome to my channel if you're new go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications do all of that now um i definitely plan on sharing more on my channel so you guys do not want to miss everything that i have in store this i am doing a luxury unboxing this unboxing is going to be from louis vuitton so actually this is my second purchase from louis so this is not in any way shape or form to boast or brag it takes a lot for me to buy very expensive things because i find myself to be frugal but this is an item that i really really wanted it was an impulse buy and my husband actually just got it for me while we were in the houston galleria so I want to kind of share um, the packaging with you guys. The item that I did get is a boot. This boot is called the Star Trail Ankle Boot. I got it in the monogram print. And I went into the Houston Galleria where I first saw it. And I purchased from there. But, but I went into the Louis Vuitton store in the Houston Galleria. So the item comes in a huge box. This box is bigger than my head. It is a beautiful cardboard box is very durable you can keep this box for a long time and basically the item comes out as you pull that blue tab so it has the blue ribbon around it but the blue ribbon does nothing but just make the box look even cuter so as you pull the item out of the box the whole sleeve comes out so this is just empty. So I was saying that I went into the Houston Louis Vuitton store. I actually went into the store, but they have two little boutiques, one in Neiman Marcus and one in Saks Fifth Avenue. I end up getting my item from Saks Fifth Avenue. I was really bummed. I wanted it to come from the actual Louis Vuitton store, but I was informed that if you make a purchase there, they share the same system. I can um, bring my item to exchange and things like that, but I could not return in the actual Louis Vuitton store. So that is something that someone may want to know because I was like, what? I want my item from y'all. And it is still them, but it's just a boutique store. So this is my receipt. It still comes in the little flap envelope and it's not printed. It's an actual Saks Fifth Avenue receipt. The price was pretty much the same. I ended up getting these boots. They were $13.30 plus tax, so $14.39.73. Um, I don't know why. I think they were like a little cheaper in the Louis store. Like maybe a couple dollars. I don't know. Anyway, I tried the shoes on in the actual Louis Vuitton store and the, they did have one pair of these shoes in my size, but there were some scuffs at the bottom and my sales associate, he was like so nice. He, he refused to, to actually sell me those shoes. He was like, no, this looks like it was a return and they wasn't supposed to take them back. And so he looked around at the local boutiques inside of the Houston Galleria and he saw that Saks Fifth actually had one pair of these boots in my size he also stated that they sell a lot of these boots on the daily and I did notice when I was in the store because I walked in walked out I was like let me think about it and he probably thought I was not gonna come back I honestly thought I was not gonna come back but my husband was like I really love you in them boots you deserve them so he actually took me back in and that's when he said they had been selling it was like two pair in between the time we walked around the mall. So just getting into the boot, this is the actual boot and it is still gorgeous. You guys, I have not took it out of the packaging because I wanted to unbox it here on YouTube. You guys, this is like a patent leather, white stitching, combat boot with the beautiful monogram print. The other Louis Vuitton item that I have is the Neverfull and monogram and i actually really love the monogram print is very classic the heel is really high and chunky um i believe it's just a three inch heel but when you have these boots on it really elongates your legs it makes you look slimmer called the star trail boots i know i said it before but just to make sure that 
I did say it. You guys, these boots are so beautiful on. I can see them with neutrals. I can see them with color. I can see them with cardigans. I can see them with stockings. I can see them with um, all kinds of things, actually. So I even saw on Pinterest this girl style these boots with shorts. They remind you of the Doc Martin boot. I really want me a pair of Doc Martens. It's just really hard to find in my area and I'm not one to really shop online. So with these boots, they were scuffed in my Louis Vuitton store. My sales associate called over to Saks Fifth and they had them in my size. So that's why I had to go there. I do know that if you plan on exchanging or returning them, you can return at Saks Fifth, but you can exchange at the Louis Vuitton store. They will not return these to the actual Louis Vuitton store for some reason. But these boots are very lightweight. When I tried them on, I was able to walk in them just fine. Honestly, I really have trouble walking in heels. So when I tried these on and realized how comfortable they are, I had to get them. I will tell you, I really fit like a 39 or I think it comes in points too. So I tried on a 39. My toe happens to be exactly to the front of the boot and it could be because of the style that your feet kind of slide. Um, I really felt like I could walk in them with no problem, but when you're making a purchase like this, you do not want to risk it, basically. I didn't want to buy the boots and wear them, and they don't take them back up, but actually wear them, and they become so uncomfortable. So I did decide to size up so that I can wear them with stockings and thick socks, things like that. Um, these boots really look nice with a pair of skinny leg jeans, girl killing but as you can see with the boot it has the white thread along the front of the shoe the rubber chunky heel this is more of a, a rubber chunky sole but this is more of a black heel and the beautiful monogram print the key tab looks really really nice the zipper is easy to come down well at least it was yeah it's still easy to come down the ones i tried on in the store i'm pretty sure have been tried on before so it was probably even more easier i did try these boots on in the all black um leather and i'll tell you right around this area it hurt it to walk so when i would walk it felt like something was pinching the front of my feet if you know what i mean um the laces are not regular shoelaces these are leather cords and i just think that that adds a very very sexy touch like you know that your laces are always gonna look bomb you know the shoe gonna look nice the tongue of this shoe is a monogram all the way down the side and they have the black patent leather so I could see this boot with so many things, you guys. I'm really, really excited about my purchase. Again, I didn't, uh, I was not able to get them out of the actual Louis Vuitton store my size without ordering them. And because I'm not like actually from the Houston area, I wanted to leave with my shoes. So I got them at Saks Fifth, same thing. Totally happy with my purchase. Have not wore these yet. I cannot wait to wear them this winter. I can actually wear them now. I just don't have anywhere to go um, to. I will tell you this shoe actually came with some extra laces. So I guess if something was to happen to your shoelaces, you have additional leather cord here. It came with a pamphlet. And again, I showed you guys the receipt. So, yeah, you guys, I hope this video is helpful. Again, it's not breaking everything down. I see no imperfections with my shoe. I think it looks amazing. The back has the pan leather here. The tab, the whole monogram is just so buttery soft. It looks so good. And, yeah. So, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Tell me about any Louis Vuitton purchase you may have. Let me know because, honestly, you know, when you buy certain luxury items, it kind of sparks something in you to want more. So, I'm trying to be like, you know. And so, you guys, that is all for the video. Until my next one, bye.